Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th. Now, that is Monday through Thursday. Of course, I am going to be using my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I'll pull one from my Guardian, Energy, Guardian Angel cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, that will be when we go into the main readings. Now, for the introduction, I am going to um, pull three cards from my Rider Tarot cards, the traditional tarot. And I will pull one from my, again, Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Just remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power. My job, just deliver the message as it comes. Okay, now, um, any cards that are reversed... They have a little bit stronger energy, so we want to pay more attention to that. But all of the cards have been very um, vocal lately. Now, um, oh, take a moment. Please like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. On the 28th at 11.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so we've got those one one ones going on, Jupiter transitions from Aquarius into Pisces. Now, the interesting thing about this is with Pisces, with it going into Pisces, for the year of 2022, it's going to be jumping back and forth. Not, It's not going to be going back to Aquarius at all. And, it, you know, and, and I do feel like Aquarius is has been a lot of truth seeking. It's going to be going between Pisces and Aries. So Pisces is kind of like, let's take what we've learned, let's kind of deal with what we have, let's kind of chew it up, digest it a little bit, and then, you know, kind of look at the realities, look at the, you know, look at what we need to look at, and then Aries will be kind of jumping forward and saying, now let's go forward, let's break forward. So when it's in Aries, and again, this will be all throughout 2022, be between Pisces and Aries, when it goes into Aries, Aries will be really pushing forward. The thing to remember is we are coming to, you know, to the one year mark of Saturn in Aquarius. And I know I talk about this so much and you're like, oh, please stop, stop, stop. But this is really important. Um, you know, so now things are really going to be getting real. Things are going to be, you know, Aquarius, um, Saturn in Aquarius is all about reality versus illusion and things just get real, and Pisces and Jupiter will actually, we will know, we will have some really firm ideas and firm decisions on where and what we want to do with 2022, okay? So those are going to be some real strong points as we go into 2022. Now, um, the other thing, too, I think that January 2nd is the new moon. Now, of course, it will be in Capricorn, so we are in the waning moon, and so we want to really, really release. And then as we get closer to January 2nd, uh, we want to get ready to request because the new moon is the start of new seasons, the start of new, um, just new ventures in, it, in itself. Okay, so let's see what we have going with this week for the Rider deck. Okay, so I can see one, two, and three. Oh, okay, four cards wants to come out. And you know, if they want to come out, we come out, we let them play. Here we go. Let's see what we have here. First card, oops, and let's do it so you can actually see them. Okay, first card is, oh, you know, this is the four of cups. The four has a lot of stability to it. The cups is our Pisces. It is our Cancer. It is our Scorpio energy. It is very fluid, very emotional. There's also a little bit of stubbornness with this card. I call this the in-between moments. It's kind of like I'm not really happy with what I've got, but look at there's a divine intervention. There's something happening. There's something being given. I don't know if I'm not necessarily ready for this or if I just don't want to. I'm just stuck in looking at what I don't want, okay? So there's a lot of stuck energy. I do call this the in-between card. But fours have stability, it has organization, it has leadership energy, and it's going to be kind of, so, you know, this week is going to be kind of that in-between. Well, and we are in-between, 
you know, we're in between some other holidays and our New Year's, but this is just kind of, I'm stuck. But the thing is about this, I really feel like we have some decisions, we have some choices to make. We can stay stuck or we can look to see what the divine, what higher power is giving us or wants to offer us. Our next card here is, now this is the Six of Pentacles. Six has the number of man, it's the energies we put into things. Pentacles is our earth energy, it is our Capricorn, we are in Capricorn now. Taurus and Virgo, money energy. Also too, you remember Venus is in Capricorn right now, but Venus is retrograde. It's going to stay here for a couple of more months. So there is some relationships. Things don't have to make sense. But this has a strong money energy. This has a strong, you know, supplication energy. This is money coming from unknown sources. So, you know, so we've got this, you know, we're kind of stuck where we're at, or is it that we choose to be stuck, but yet there is a divine, there is a, you know, a something more happening, especially around our money. There could be some um, money being freed up. But again, this is this has people kind of saying, please, please, please. And then there's the person that has largesse providing. So there could be a sharing of money. There could, again, this has a money influence, a money coming from unknown sources or money coming when we need it the most. Okay. So now we go in here. Ah, now we have that one, that one energy. Now one's new beginning, new starts. This is our way. This is the magician. The magician is one of the major arcana. These are the minor arcanas, major arcana. The magician is one that we have the ability to make things happen. The magician also calls upon the higher power, the, you know, on whoever that is to you, you know, higher power, guardian angels, spirit guides, your ancestors, whoever that is, but also calls upon that energy, calls upon that grace, calls upon the ability to make things happen. The magician is, it, you know, basically says, you know, I have what I need. Now, the magician also has the um, the rod, which is our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy, uh, fire energy. It has the sword, which is our Aquarius. It's our Libra. It's our Gemini energy, air energy, thought processes, making plans. It has our cups, like I told, our cup energy, like I told you, water energy, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, and Pisces energy you know, fluid, emotional, and it has our pentacles, which is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. Again, money, job, career, ways of making money also could be about your home, something you are invested in. But the, so the magician says that things can happen. Thing, and also I'm looking at the flowers, things can grow. You have the ability to make changes. Again, you know, trust your higher power, deal you know ask your higher power for the um, answers okay let's see what this one was this one wanted to come out the knight of pentacles so whatever this is going on here the knight of pentacles underlying energy is fire because that's what the knight has the passion the drive being really driven to do something but the pentacles is that earth and the, now this one he's not necessarily in motion he's kind of taken a look at what he wants to do but he's about to get busy. He's about to get busy. He's about to get to work. He's about to do what it is he needs to be doing. Okay. And again, it doesn't matter male or female. We all have, you know, we all have the estrogen. We all have the testosterone. It doesn't matter. It's just get busy now. Again, so we go from this, eh, I don't want to, to time to get busy. So this weekend, this week we'll have a very interesting energy with that because there's a lot of transition. Something wakes us up here. Something makes us move here. Okay? Now, let's see. We're going to pull one from the Angel, Bradley Valentine Angel tarot, tarot cards. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we've got here now. So, okay. Well, these cards wanted to stay, but also I want to pull this full, this first one out here too. Okay, this card the four of earth. Now, so earth is our pentacle energy. Four, again, has that stability. This is about being too frivolous or too cautious with money, but it also, so it's kind of like a little give and take type of energy here. Good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate, and then we come back to this. So there may be some that are able to share, to provide, to give. Okay, let's see what these two cards have. This one is reversed, and this one's reversed too. 
Next card is the Four of Air. So we're getting a lot of this Four energy right now. We have Earth, Air, and we do have our, our Cups energy. This is take a break. Take a break. Let things settle. Do not get so worried about what's going on. Let you know. I'm not saying that you um, you you slow down. I'm not saying that I shouldn't. No, I'm not saying that you shut down. The three. Uh, this has a little bit of that shutting down type of energy. The thing is, watch. Be aware. Watch what's going on. Don't be so worried about whatever it is. Just watch and wait. Okay. Time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So we have a lot of that four energy. Okay, next last card is the King of Fire. So King's underlying energy is air. Okay, thought really knows his business, knows what needs to be done. Again, we have that fire energy. The King of Fire looks at the big picture and actually, you know, has passion, is involved, the, um, you know, is involved with what's going on, but yet at the same time knows when to shut up, knows when to talk, knows when to deal with what needs to be dealt with, but doesn't get mired in the dirt, does not get mired in the small stuff, sees how things are larger, looks at the past, looks at the future, looks at the present also. So there, we've got a lot of, a lot of energies here. There's that, all those four energies there's a lot of just kind of wait, watch, see. You know, there's a lot of reciprocity with the four. Money coming in from unknown sources, the magician. Things are going to be happening that we can actually make happen or they're coming from the, from the you know, from our higher power. There is a very supernatural energy with the magician. And then we have the king of fire and the knight of pentacles. Knight of pentacles is like, yes, let's get to work. But the king of fire says, Look at the big picture. We don't necessarily want to be impulsive. We don't want to just jump to action. We don't want to jump to conclusions. We need to look at everything, but yet we don't want to look at everything that we are so stuck either. Okay, so we have some interesting energies this week. Um, we will see where we're going to see. We will go where we're going to go. I will post this as an introduction only, but I will also put this in the, in the front of our individual readings for each sign, which we will be starting now. Hello, my Libras. How are you doing? Okay, I know. Everything's on your shoulders, right? Everything, everybody wants you. Everybody needs you. Oh, my gosh. Libra, 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 Libra. Oh, tell them all to just... <coughs> Excuse me. Tell them all to... Be quiet. Just be quiet. Okay? Just be quiet. I just I had to take a drink there. Oh, just tell them, just be quiet. Oh my goodness. My my Libras, take a break. Take a break and go somewhere that you can be happy. Okay? Oh, three of celebration. I love that for you. Three of celebration. Just go somewhere you can be relaxed. Okay? I just feel like you need to take a break. And the three of celebration, that's an, or three of Raphael, it's all about celebration. So let's go one, two, and three. Everything's reversed for you. Three is a very powerful number. The power of three means, you know, you do something, say something three times, you put it out there. It just feels like, you know, again, I'm just feeling like a lot on your shoulders, a lot happening, and you just kind of breaking free from it all. Just breaking free from it all. I don't know what ha what happens per se with it, but some, there's, a sh there's a shift. There's a change. Something that you're kind of like, it's a, it takes you a little bit aback. It's kind of like, I didn't expect it. Higher power. Thank you very much. And, you know, and just kind of, I just feel like there's a freedom here. And I just feel like there's also a time for you to just have <sighs> a breath. Um, you know, take some air in, and again, celebration. So Raphael is our water energy, and I talked about all the energies in the beginning in the introduction. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and again, celebration time. Just I just feel like there's a break in the stress, okay? Reasons to celebrate. A community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Next card reversed again. Strength. So we have a three, one, one. Ones, new beginnings, new starts, tens, transition, again, new beginnings, add them together, two, one plus one is two, choices, Part partnerships, choices. Strength is Archangel Ariel, 
Um, this is, I don't know if this is that you need to have strength during this time or for you to know that you do have the strength or for you to know that there is strength through your higher power, that you need to connect with your angels, your guardian angels, and they will provide what you need. There's also strength in love. There's strength in caring, okay? But I don't want you, I do feel like this has a breakaway type of energy and kind of like maybe you need to be strong to say no. Maybe you need to be strong and so you need to ask your higher power, hey, help me to say no. Help me to put my boundaries up, okay? But there is these two cards, 311, definitely look those numbers up, 113. It could even be that too. But strength and grace through kindness. And you can say no very kindly. Self-confidence forgiveness. Your last card reversed on this one is the three of Ariel. So we have that three. So we have a three, one, one, three, backwards and forwards. Ariel is our earth energy. Maybe this is what this is about. This has a new creativity. This has new job energy. This has new ways of creating money, money coming in also. This is also saying for you to do what you want to do. There's a lot of things, my Libras, you've been putting off, and this is a time for you to re, to, to bring back that box of wishes and hopes, open it up again, and start dusting that off, okay? There's a release here. There's something is releasing for you this week, okay? Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your, in your career or artistic endeavors, Working with others in a cooperative manner. So there's a release here. There's a some there's some sort of a switch that's happening here for you. And it could be an internal switch. It's where you just say, nope, 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 not doing it anymore. Or it could be an external switch that just, you know, um, universal, university, universal energy just kind of takes over and says, oh, Libra, I know, I know. Let me get you out of here. Okay, let's see what we have here for... My Libras, the spiritual teacher. Now, this is a nine. Nine, you've got all the pieces. You've got it. It's there. You just need to take, like I said, you need to take out the box of your wishes and hopes, dust them off a little bit. The nine is also the hermit card. Take a step back. Connect with your higher power. Get you through a lot of situations right now. So, this is spiritual teacher. Um, this is also very interesting too because this has a very ha, has a very strong um, Saint Nicholas type of energy. It looks like he's got a, he's got presents or he's got things to bring home. There are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love, and that would go with this one. These are major arcanas, um, love and ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. A lot of times when your life's unfulfilled, it just there's a lot of chaos going on. So sometimes you need to help, you know, sometimes you need a little help in figuring out or in organizing that chaos, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go on. So but yeah, there's there's a switch. There again too. So 3 times 3 is 9. So those are some more 3 energies there. Um, you know, again, three one one three nine, definitely some three energies. Take a look at that. Again, the switch is pulled. Okay, we have two cards that just fell out or just kind of pushed out. Um, one is rose quartz. It's all about unconditional love, romance, nourishing, and soothing. And unconditional love does not mean that you have to be the doormat. Okay, I really want people to know that. Iolite has a lot of magical powers, feminine divine, work connections, and inspiration. Interesting. This one doesn't come out a lot. And this is the second time it's come out for these readings. Okay. My Libras, it looks like a switch is, uh, a switch is turned on, switch is switched. <laughs> okay, my Libras, take a moment. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. I really appreciate you doing that. Most importantly, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.